Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at limited edition Wyvern uh, booster packs. This is from the original run of Wyvern. I believe these were 95. Uh, 1994 by US Game Systems Inc. Um, out of Connecticut from the look of it. But each one has uh, several cards in it obviously. I believe there's 12. I don't know. I don't prepare for this show. I just like opening stuff. Uh, but yeah, 15 collectible card game cards. Now this is from the first run. These are the limited edition ones. So these are getting kind of hard to find now because it was 23 years ago. Wow. So uh, this one's a little banged up, so hopefully the cards won't be destroyed. I'm always hoping to find the mysterious and legendary uh, Magic misprints because these were made in the same factory as Magic the Gathering cards. And legend has it, which I have seen uh, cards that match this, but I can't verify they're the real thing. But the legend goes that a lot of the front of Magic cards were published on uh, cardstock that had the backing of the Wyvern deck. I'm always hoping to find those because they're supposed to be worth a lot of money. And one of my favorite things in life is, is to collect money. So, <laughs> um, I'm always hoping to see one just to see it. Not necessarily actually for the money. That was more of a joke. But I would like to see what one of them looks like um, because I want to verify if it's true. And of all the years that I had played Wyvern, which was, you know, I always had kind of a cult following and I played it for a while uh, back in the 90s, um, I never saw one of those cards. But they're apparently very rare because a lot of them got found and destroyed. But some of them are supposedly f slipped into these packs. And uh, they're out there somewhere. So let's open these up. I got two packs here. Let's open them up and see what we got. At 15 cards a pack, you did get your money's worth. Um, at least I think so. A lot of cards nowadays, you really don't get anywhere near that. Uh, the art was a little hit and miss, but it was the 90s. Alright, so there's the back of the cards. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Dragon Slayer action. We've got Subterranean Tr Tunnels treasure. Battle action, Frost Breathing. Uh, Crystal Ball action. Terrain River. Seaweed action. Village action. Uh, night battle action Magical healing action Poisonous air action um, Pyridetus tree action Snowstorm action Tunnel terrain Gandariwa dragon and lastly, Underwater Cave Terrain. Alright, so that's our first pack. Let's see what's in the second one. Alright, as you can see, these got a little warped. Um, hopefully that shows up. But it doesn't seem to affect the playability. They're not stuck together or anything. Uh, just a little bent. Some card sleeve protectors would straighten them out over time. Alright, so we've got a possession spell, battle action. We've got poison breathing, battle action. Pick a treasure, treasure. Firebolt, battle action. Jewels, treasure. Volcanic eruption, action. Princess Libya, treasure. Cadmus, dragon slayer, action. Marina, reaction. Gold thief, action. I like his little burgle mask. 
uh, help dry, uh, battle action giant ants battle action leviathan dragon python dragon and lastly trap terrain so not bad we had one duplicate between the two that was cadmus um otherwise i don't think there were any other duplicates which is pretty good uh the cards are all numbered at the bottom i think there were 400 in the set uh like this one's in the 200s that one's like 118 or whatever can't read upside down but yeah so there's you know 30 cards here and only one duplicate it's pretty solid uh so there were quite a few cards to collect but that is kind of give you kind of an idea of what you can get inside a pack of wyvern cards from the limited edition booster pack we didn't get any of the the awesome super rare magic cards but like I said, that's an urban legend at this point. Uh, I've seen cards that claim to be them, but never up close and personal, always on the internet. So, until I see one, I don't know that it's true. Uh, nobody's verified them, or certified them as legit that I know of. It might be out there, but I, I always want to pull one just to see it. But that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.